Gerald Michel Ohm, thank you very much for joining Press TV's Face to Face. Thanks. My first question to you. Why do you support Hezbollah? Well, uh, we are supporting each other. We are the same people living in Lebanon, uh, maybe with different uh, way, you know, uh, uh, to have a, a way to different uh, confessions or different religion, but the, we are the same citizens and we have the same nationality, the same entity. So it's normal that uh, we'll be together when Hezbollah, uh, the doing, you know, the resistance to Israel, which is uh, an enemy, and uh, he's right now uh, uh, fighting against terrorism. So he's defending in the same time the Lebanese society which is a pluralist society uh, composed from different religions, different people, or still being the same people. So is, is it the res resistance to Israel the main thing that, uh, that puts... We started like that. We didn't think at that moment in 2006 uh, that we are going to have the terrorism here. So the terrorists, you know, uh, arrived, in, uh, started in Syria, and also it is uh, threatening, it was threatening the Lebanese border and they were trying, you know, to get in Lebanon. So he made a, a strong, great job uh, in defending the Lebanese uh, frontiers because the army was not uh, sufficient, let's say, uh, at that moment. Yeah, I was, I was speaking to, I mean, Jumail yesterday, the former president, and he told me that Lebanon needs to have only one army and Hezbollah uh, needs to put down its weapons and, and join the, the, the national army. What do you say to that? Okay, uh, the army actually is not so strong, you know, too strong you know, to defend the country. So we have to equip the army and to train it to be able, you know, to defend our country. Right now, it is not like that. So you think Lebanon needs Hezbollah yeah. to defend its yes. borders? Yes, we need the, uh, the resistance. Because at any time, Lebanon will not have a, an equilibrated, uh, equilibrated uh, uh, well, uh, balance of forces. Uh, with Israel or with Syria, with any other country. So if we have to defend ourselves, so we have to make stronger army. And also because uh, the number of our population, our economy cannot support a strong army like Israel. Israel is helped by the United States, by all the Jewish diaspora. And so they can have and helped by the United States, especially. They can have the highest technology in weapons, and so they can have a very destructive power so that we cannot afford. So we need, you know, a kind of, uh, of fighting that we need the guerrillas against the classic armies. So they are stronger than us, they are more rich than us. So the only way to defend Lebanon, that's the guerrilla warfare. There are those who believe that your alliance with Hezbollah is because you want to become the next president of Lebanon. What do you say to that? Well, I, I was not thinking uh, uh, of that when the Hezbollah, when we make uh, an understanding before. But when, the, uh, when Israel uh, attacked Lebanon, at that moment we became uh, 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 allies, uh, allies. So I didn't think that moment that I, be I, become, I will become you know, president of Lebanon. 
uh, it was only that uh, a war, you know, to defend Lebanon and to defend the uh, Lebanese people. <laughs> we didn't think at that moment that uh, there is a president to elect in, in five years. <laughs> So that it was uh, immediate, uh, immediate re uh, reaction about that. Those people, they are very poor-minded to think like that. Yeah, they, they also believe that you want to reform, you want to change Taif Accord but, for the same I reason. I want to change, yes. They want to change many, many laws, but it, uh, it must... Uh, it is not in the agreement of Taif. We, we have to make reforms in our laws to have more control in the finances, to have more uh, justice, because we have to fight the, uh, the corruption in the country. So we have to make these uh, re reforms. But I am not going to attack our constitution uh, but the, why the, those people uh, don't say that Taif was not, never respected and we have to, uh, to implement Taif, not to change it. Uh, do you see yourself as the next president of Lebanon? Well, uh, I have the right uh, to be candidate and especially I am the best uh, one supported by, uh, by many Lebanese people, and I am the more representative in, uh, in, in Lebanon, you know. So you, you, you think that your chances are quite high? Yes, why not? Uh, who is your uh, most important rival in this race? Rival? No rival right now. Till now, there is no rival. <laughs> Because there is big difference between me and any other rival. Therefore, I, the opposition is, uh, well, negative only. They don't present any, any uh, candidate. Let's go to the, to the question of Syria, what's going on in Syria today. The terrorism that's spinning over to, to Lebanon and to other countries throughout the region. Who do you think is the, is, is, is the, uh, the party that is most responsible for it? Is it the Syrian government or is it those countries who are supporting terrorists in Syria? Well, uh, for me it's not a question of human rights that uh, uh, like what uh, the people said that I want to change a dictator, to change a regime in Syria. They want to change well, uh, the regime, in, in fact, the regime, because uh, uh, Syria is not collaborating with them uh, for economic reasons, that uh, they want to have a gasoline, or to say, uh, uh, from... Uh, uh, Qatar to Turkey and then to, to reach Europe as a gas uh, gas market and to challenge uh, Russia in Europe. That's the first uh, reason who, who, therefore there is a war. They want to change Bashar Assad to be able to do a deal. Why do you think they haven't? Why do you think they haven't managed to change Bashar al-Assad so far? Before? So far, up, up, up until this moment. Okay, let, let well, me they can because uh, the Syrian people, with their army and uh, the admiss the organic admiss uh, well, uh, the structure of the country is still, you know, working. And the resistance uh, was also so strong to these attacks, to uh, this big army coming from about 84 states, foreign states, 
to fight in Syria. Syria resisted very well, and I think uh, it was helped too uh, from Iran, supported by Hezbollah, who, you know, uh, uh, supported strongly, you know, uh, the Syrian uh, army. So uh, right now, uh, Syria is receiving more help, and uh, many of the West countries, you know, changed their opinion. Uh, and right now they are going to, to be, to fight also, not like the Russian, you know, but they are going to fight uh, Daesh and the Nusra. Do you think that the Russian airstrikes, the Russian military campaign in Syria is going to be a game changer? at the end of the day? Well, uh, it depends uh, upon their will. If they want to reach only a political solution, well, they will stop when the solution is reached. If not, if they want to, to change radically, well, they can do it. Maybe it will take more time. What's your prediction? What do you think the Russians will do? Well, uh, what I wish or what's my prediction? Yeah, well, what do you wish them to do? Well, I want to, to fix, you know, the government, uh, the government of Bashar Assad, and well, to make uh, some change uh, in the, you know, in the, the Syrian constitu uh, constitution. But, and what is your prediction? Well, they will do that, I think. So you're optimistic? Yes, certainly, but they will destroy all the terrorists, not those uh, that Saudi Arabia said, or nominated. Yeah. But uh, I think you know, Nusra, uh, Daesh, <coughs> Jaish al-Islam, all, all these people, you know, they are uh, real terrorists, you know. So here's the thing, a lot of people are asking why the United States and Saudi Arabia are just calling some of those militants moderate militants. Well, they will participate, you know, with these people in the ruling the country. And they will make for them maybe a... Uh, force of influence in Syria. Uh, a lot of people believe that now that there is power vacuum in Lebanon, it's going to have an impact on the situation on the ground in Syria. What's uh, your opinion? No, I don't think, you know, because uh, Hezbollah is, is uh, uh, fighting, you know, and they're still fighting with them, and nobody can interfere with the, the, our resistance there. The fight in Syria by Hezbollah, is, is that going to weaken Hezbollah's position in, in Lebanon? No, because uh, our alliance is, is so strong, you know, is uh, strong, you know, as armed uh, resistance, and we are strong in policy. Right now, we are you know, well, neutralizing this government because they are, uh, they are outpassing the constitution, and they were they are abusing, you know, of the power. There are those who believe that Saudi Arabia is spending a lot of money in Lebanon buying politicians. Well, uh, since a long time ago. Have you? Have you heard of any, any top politician being paid by Saudi Arabia? Well, uh, what, uh, th there was a leak of Wikileaks. Wikileaks said that uh, the TV stations uh, were paid by Saudi Arabia and uh, some people, you know, uh, are paid too. Maybe future uh, uh, will party. They are paid, you know, 
باي حريري و از هافينج موني فروم سعودي اريبيا So you believe that Saudi Arabia is directly funding certainly, future parties? Certainly, they have a direct influence uh, in the, on the Sunni. Yeah, what, I, what have they achieved so far in Lebanon, the Saudis? Well, before, they were, you know, forming governments. They were, uh, uh, Lebanon was following their uh, policy here. Now that things are changing. Right now, you know, to stop, you know, they, they can't do what they want, except uh, participating, you know, of, uh, uh, well, uh, ruling the internal affairs of Lebanon. But in politics, they, they cannot change anything. Uh, let's, let's talk about the, the, the influence that Iran has in Lebanon right now. Do you think Iran is interfering with Lebanon's internal affairs? Well, no, Iran it doesn't interfering in our internal affairs, but certainly Iran is powerful in the region, and it is helping the Lebanese resistance. Uh, that's uh, well a strategic object, you know, objectives or aims in the uh, in the area. There was mutual, you know, support from Iran to resistance and the resistance to Iran. Uh, well, uh, it is permitted, you know, uh, in a case, because everyone is ruling uh, its country and in the same time make an alliance with another. It's more an alliance than it is a well uh, an ex uh, you know obedience to to the other a lot of assassinations have happened high profile assassinations have happened in Lebanon over the past uh, 10 years like the assassination of Rafiq al Hariri and uh, Pierre Jamal and and others and others But, uh, yeah, and or, or, every time it's, it's, it's happening, there are fingers of blame at Hezbollah, at Syria. But not, no one says maybe Israel was behind the assassinations. Yes, that's right. Uh, why is this happening? Why is, why is it that the Lebanese politicians are not uh, suspicious uh, about Israel's role in these assassinations in Lebanon? Well, they are following, you know, uh, some policy. And uh, they don't know, it. Uh, they don't want to know the, the truth about But they have you know, a political, you know, uh, uh, well, objective that to say that Syria, to accuse Syria or Hezbollah. That's a political way, you know, to say it. But I don't think that Hezbollah, neither, neither Syria, uh, did, you know, these crimes. Uh, we know uh, that others, you know, I suspect, uh, personally, I suspect Israel. So you... Because I, I, did, uh, I didn't uh, accuse Syria. But so when Syria was here, I say it is responsible. I didn't say uh, it is uh, it is criminal. I said responsibility because they are responsibility of the security of Lebanon. You know, it's some responsibility, but they are not the the murderers. So you believe that Israel could have been behind assassinations in Lebanon yes. over the past decade or so? They have done uh, all, uh, all, already, you know, many crimes in Lebanon, uh, many murders, uh, some in Saida, some in Beirut, uh, in Zidahia. This is not, it will not be the first time, but uh, everybody was, was used to say Before that, Israel is uh, is doing the 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 attack, 
But after the Syrian departure, they will accuse, they accuse you know, Syria of doing the, the murders. But it is not you know, a, well, uh, a true accusation, it is a political one. Uh, how do you see the role of Israel in Syria, in the conflict in Syria? What are they doing over there? Uh, well, uh, they participated directly, you know. And they uh, certainly, if they participated, it, uh, it, it wished, you know, to change the regime of, the, of Bashar al-Assad. Uh, do you think... Hoping that the, uh, it will, you know, It will control forever the Golan Heights and it will get rid of the refugee, Palestinian refugees in Syria and in Lebanon. Uh, let's go to the issue of Turkey, the Turkish politics today, uh, making headlines all over the world. The Ak Party has uh, won really big landslide victory, uh, something a lot of people didn't expect. Uh, do you think this huge victory for, for uh, Recep Erdogan and Ahmed Davutoglu would uh, put them in a position to strengthen their support for the militancy in Syria against uh, President Bashar al-Assad? No, I don't think so. Maybe he will become more wise, you know to attack again, you know, the Syrians. Uh, and I think uh, he was helped by some foreign uh, powers. Uh, well, uh, to win the elections. But in condition of... What, what foreign powers are we talking about? Well, pardon? What foreign powers are we talking about? Well, he is in the NATO, you know, you know. But I think they will, uh, well, uh, be very quiet after the election. And he has many troubles in, in Syria. And he would like, you know, to, to arrange uh, the, the Turkish situation before then uh, uh, to look to Syria. Yeah, what's your, what's your message to our party and uh, uh, President Erdogan now that they won the election? Your message? My message? Take, to take care only of Turkey and, of Turkey and he has not to dream a, of an empire in the Middle East. General Michelon, thank you very much. Same to you.